getting to the top ain't easy. Blood, sweat, tears, and many years of sacrifice. But do you know what the real challenge is? Staying focused when you've obtained your dream. And the grind stays the same. For the last decade, I haven't changed my mindset of chasing that goal. I believe that makes me the king of kickboxing. The way to the top is, I think, easier because you have something to work towards, to look towards. And it's a dream, and it's a dream you're chasing. But when that dream finally becomes reality, you're there, you obtained it. And what happens now? And then a lot of people, uh, or not, maybe not a lot of people, just like what normally happens or logically happens is, you, hey, you get comfortable. I did it, I made it. But that's not me, that's not me. I, I keep the grind as, as real as it was before. Yeah, so I came back from recovery uh, heavier than I used to. Uh, I couldn't do, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't allowed to do any cardio, so, because it was hard to, because you need your legs to do some good cardio. So that was, uh, that was tough. But for the rest, when we finally got the green lights, yeah, we went all out. So we got a good three month camp and we're here. Top shape, ready, focused, and crazy excited to be back. I think this week we're gonna uh, keep it twice a day, and then next week we're just gonna go to once a day and change the, the rhythm a little bit, because we're gonna fight in the evening, so we're gonna train a little bit later. Now we're gonna be like training hard for like an hour, hour and a half, and then it's gonna be like a training for about an hour, but like 15, 20 minutes, like, all out and then for this just technique and game plan wise so, so we got something to look forward to okay today's training uh, we do everything with speed agility to make rico and the other boys faster in the ring and uh, we do everything with reaction lights speed ladders uh, cones take a look <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna work in teams. And then we're gonna we're gonna do this twice. So then the best time is gonna get the last three points. So the team that has the best time, the overall exercise, is gonna get three extra points. So what will happen to the loser? The loser is just the loser. So it's, uh, but, uh, in the end the winner gets picked up for the for a picture. So let's see. Let's see what we're gonna do. Three times a week, I work on some kind of pure speedness. This is one of the trainings. We have some more trainings. And I think in the heavyweight division, it's even more uh, profitable because when a big guy can move, he can stand and trade, but he can also move. Yeah, that, that makes him uh, special. Master! Whoa! So how did that go? It was okay. Even though we're having so much fun during the training, I feel like oh, I always after if I don't if I don't win, I'm like, ah, the fuck off. It's just because you're so competitive and you want to win so bad. But you know that the things that we're doing naturally and physically, they should be faster. But a lot of times they are, they are not faster, so I, I do win. Yeah, it so. seems like you forget your heavyweight when you're... Uh, yeah, 100%, 100%, I don't care, I don't care for heavyweight. So for me, like mentally, I'm the same weight as they are. So I just want to be as fast as possible. 
Ah, we did what we could. I'm ready and I'm crazy excited to be back. Glory Collision 6 and Gelderdome. It's huge and I'm so happy that we can do it again in a full, in a full arena with all the fans. And like I said, I'm happy to be back after all this time.